It's August 15, 2022, and I'm in the presence of some founding members of the Ottawa Firefighters Community Foundation. And over on my left, we'll, we'll start off with the names. Who do we got there? Ryan Conway. All right. Justin McVeter. And? Lan O'Brien. And? Paul Casagrande. And Dave Smith. I had to introduce you, Dave. Sorry, buddy. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, I want to find out about this memorial. Tell us, first of all, what was the dream? How did it happen? How did it start? Anybody? I think Dawson did it. All right. Yeah, well, uh, I wanted to uh, have a uh, monument when I went to City Hall to see the mayor. Um, he, tried, he offered us a, a, a picture on a wall and I rejected the picture. Then he wanted us to go to, um, to, a, to a tree outside, and I rejected that. And then they wanted uh, a couple of other things until the, this site we're sitting on, and I thought they were kidding because he gave us his uh, first hand, the mayor gave it to his first hand uh, helper to find a location and when he came over here and he said you guys could go for this you might get it and uh, I thought they were pulling my leg but anyway the guys all kicked in and they were doing their thing at the same time and it all worked out that we ended up getting this property in $500,000 What year was that Dawson? Do you remember? Anybody maybe can help them out? 2006 2006 Dawson starting a memorial for the people who died in 2001 yes. and he held the first service in 2002 and it's a combination of many people's ideas uh, that, that it came about but Dawson was the originator <laughs> he wanted to honor the people who had died at, at the World Trade Center in New York City and uh, that went on very well right over here at the corner and, uh, and when when the band was in Italy we would go to every little town and they would have a, a, uh, a memorial for their firefighters and Paul and I after a few glasses of their wonderful red wine in Italy thought it would, might be a good idea to have the same thing here so a committee was formed and as most committees do, you know, instead of designing a racehorse, they design a two-hump cannon. And after a, a, a bit of time, we divided our committee. This committee believes in a, that uh, fire service is a municipal responsibility and the city should run it. The other group, which built the Canadian Memorial down by the War Museum, felt that it should be a, a thing encompassing all of Canada. And they wanted to put the memorial up on Parliament Hill. So we divided, and the uh, Brooks and Putvac camp went uh, that way, and we decided to, to form one and honor the firefighters, not only who died in the line of duty, but to die, uh, we had a, a thing that Dawson designed, it's called the Legacy of Courage. And uh, he was with a group, uh, Firefighters uh, for Christ with Lana. And they, they decided uh, to, to start this whole thing. And uh, it went on very well. And uh, as you can see by the memorial here, it's, it's a wonderful tribute to the firefighters. But the Legacy of Courage, our idea is that anybody that dies who has been a firefighter for a number of years has given part of their 
their life to the citizens of Ottawa and the fire service. Now, now behind you, I see uh, Ottawa Fire Service donor wall. Yeah. Of course, this memorial costs a lot of money, and uh, so can people still donate to the memorial? Yes. And how does one donate to the memorial if they want to donate? What's the, is there a website, an email? Uh, we have a, Look over a here a to Brian. We have a website, um, Ottawa um, Firefighter Community Foundation, and uh, we can take accept uh, donations by PayPal, uh, or uh, we have our address on, on the website as well, and people can mail in donations. Also, um, the majority of our uh, donations came uh, through the sale of uh, plaques. Those donor plaques you see, mm -hmm. um, they were, uh, we call them bricks. And pe people, mostly uh, uh, firefighters or their families or uh, families of deceased firefighters would buy one for $1,000 and, um, and we uh, would give them a plaque and put it on the wall and we used that money to, uh, to build the, the monument site as well as the, uh, the statues that you see there. Um, we, uh, we hired uh, uh, an artist, a local artist, uh, Louise Carota is her name. Uh, she designed uh, the, uh, the uh, statues. Uh, a, uh, a foundry in uh, Georgetown, Ontario uh, built the, um, the uh, statues and, uh, and there you have it. So, what are the statues made of? Are they bronze? Are they stainless steel? Stainless steel. So there's a lot of maintenance involved. So of course, and uh, yeah. So of course, there's a team that comes and cleans it once in a while. Next Ex Thursday. Next Thursday. Next and there's Thursday. a reason why you're coming next Thursday because what's happening in September? Well, on September 9th, we hold our annual uh, memorial service that is run by these three people here. Basically, they run the service. Mm -hmm. And we do what they tell us. And so the purpose of the ceremony. <laughs> okay, that that, that was a, a firefighter's joke between the two two of you folks, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so of course we have memorials, uh, line of duty deaths, legacy of courage, and of course line of duty deaths are firefighters that are recognized that they died in the line of duty. It could be initially from like a fire or an accident or long-term effects, whether it be a medical condition that's recognized. Um, and so right behind you, Paul, and I'm gonna to talk to Paul in a minute here, we have some plaques on the wall. Are those all line of duty deaths? The ones with the pictures on the plaques as well as a brief story of yes, them? Yes, they are. They are. Uh, and uh, it's not, the, uh, the list is not complete. We're in the process of uh, doing new plaques. Uh, we have 40 plaques up there, a line of duty deaths. And I believe we uh, we have another uh, 25 or so that uh, are in the works. Awesome. And Paul, Hi. you are the bandmaster, is that what you call, it? call yourself? Yes, the leader, so. band leader yes. of the Ottawa Fire Department band. And you're going to be here on that day. I will. Playing yeah. some amazing music uh, for people to reflect on. What's your role with this whole thing? Well, it goes back to 2001 when uh, my friend, fellow firefighter Dawson, asked 9-11 uh, just happened and uh, would, we, uh, would the band be interested in doing some uh, tribute? And uh, we did a small tribute and uh, then it, it grew from there. And uh, that's when Dave explained that there was a committee that looked at a, a huge, uh, are we going to be Canadian, are we going to be Ottawa? And I was a proponent of there wasn't enough honor for our Ottawa firefighters specifically. So that's the basic uh, premise of this whole thing. As far as the uh, ceremony with Lana and Dawson, uh, we organized uh, together the first ceremony back in 2002, the official first ceremony. We're now going to have our 21st. 21st. Uh, and uh, it involves, uh, now we have a pipe band that assists us too. We used to have a parade. Uh, all down Elgin Street with fire trucks, 150 uniformed marchers. That part will still take place. The Bytown Brigade brings out their e equipment, and uh, we usually get several hundred uh, um, spectators, families, and those families of the year that lost their uh, loved ones get honored yeah. here specifically. 
Now, Dave, you're wearing a hat, and Lana, you have a jacket on, and so does uh, Dawson. First of all, I wanted to ask you, because it is a memorial service, we have different faiths. And, of course, this is non-denominal. It's just uh, we recognize that uh, people of different faiths. So um, do you want to share anything about that part of it? We, uh, you, you are inspirational in playing the Our Father on a saxophone which we have uh, videotaped in previous um, ceremonies. Do you want to share anything about that? Well, there's a non-denominational. Yeah. Uh, of course, as, as you uh, shared, I happen to be a minister and uh, evangelical uh, pastor, uh, but it has nothing to do with anything that to the memorial. This is awesome. in honor of the fallen, all the fallen. And so we honor all the fallen, they regardless to their faith. Or, uh, awesome, thank you. And Lana, you're the backbone when it comes to getting the stage, uh, g uh, helping uh, Dave Smith with getting the food, but also selling some of the, mer we call it merchandise, younger folks call it merch. Um, I'm just going to kind of zoom in on your coat here, Dawson. That's the patch. Or we call it a patch? Sure, sure. We call it a design? I don't know. But um, if people wanted to purchase this, they can purchase it on that day as well. Yes. You've got golf shirts, hats, so on and so forth. So again, when is the date? September 9th. September 9th. What time? 12 noon. At 12 noon. Looking forward to uh, seeing everybody here. Come it will early. be beautiful. <laughs> Come early. And I just wanted to say that we will be expanding our donor wall because it's basically full right now for other members who are coming on the department now and want to uh, get in on this. It'll probably be uh, next year before we get uh, a sales going, but uh, stand by. We're going to have some more. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate your time here today. I'm back here have with... A Dawson, Lana, and Brian. Uh, Lana is the chair of the memorial, and Dawson is the president. And of course, Brian is the director and treasurer. And, and we're just going to go over the plaque and some of the names and uh, that weren't mentioned in the video, and uh, what their roles are when it comes to uh, the memorial. Whether they're a director, whether they're founders. So, if if I could start over here with uh, Lana, we have on the far end there we got Paul. What's his role again? Bandmaster and director. and director. Brian, we just mentioned you are? Treasurer uh, and uh, director. Awesome. Now, who's Angelo Filoso? I think He's a local uh, Ottawa businessman, uh, very well known in the uh, Italian community of Ottawa. Yep. Uh, he was a driving force in, uh, in pushing us to uh, and others to, to get this, uh, this monument. So he's one of the founders as well? Yeah, he's one of the founders. And he's also the vice president. He's vice president as well. And of course we have Dawson, you're right there in the middle, being the founder yeah. and president. Lana, that's a big uh, big role to be chair. And you've been chair for how long? Since 2001. So since it started pretty well. Yes. Awesome. And Peter Ryan. Peter is a uh, gem in the uh, community. What's his role or what's uh, his Peter title? Ryan uh, was our project manager. Um, he oversaw the uh, construction on all phases of the construction of the... Uh, Wonderful. And of course, Dave Smith, we met him earlier. What's his title here with the... Uh, his title officially is... Sorry, we're going to we got a track or something going by. Go ahead, Brian. Uh, so, his, say it again? Uh, yeah, his official title is uh, Secretary of the... Uh, <laughs> organization, but he's uh, basically uh, a chair of fundraiser. Okay, and last but not least, we have Dave Stevenson. You want to share a little bit about Dave, what his role is here? Dave is a director. He's also been part of it from the beginning, so awesome. he's a big part of the, the group. Oh, that's great, and what a beautiful... Uh, at the time of formation, uh, Dave was uh, an active firefighter, a uh, fire chief, actually, so uh, his input was uh, invaluable as a one the rest of us were retired or, you know, or not from the fire department. Well, uh, I must, I uh, should add as well that um, the organization is uh, a Canadian 
corporation uh, and a uh, registered charity with, uh, with the Government of Canada. So any, any donations that we receive, we issue a formal uh, income tax receipt. That's perfect. Again, it's registered and you can get it income tax. Right on. Awesome. Again, there's the memorial. Beautiful. Who designed the, uh, the crest the, with the, it obviously was taken off of the, uh, the monument back was, there, but it's just beautiful. It was a mix between Paul, Dawson, and myself. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. Well, thank you, folks.